Well, that was a long flight. It was, but we, we made it. You know, last time we tailgated, we were on the west coast. This time, complete opposite side of the country. Where are we? Well, we're at a place that they call The Rock, St. John's, Newfoundland. It sounds rugged, so mm -hmm. what are we going to drive? We're going to drive the Nissan Titan. Our pickup spot is O'Neill Nissan, just outside of St. John's, where we meet our Newfoundland connection and owner, Rick O'Neill. Started with Nissan 38 years ago, back when it was Datsun. It turned to Nissan in 19, I think, 83. So we've been 38 years with this franchise. Just started a new store in Corner Brook, just undergoing another new one right now in Grand Falls. So we'll have three Nissan stores by the end of uh, next year. Rick is a wealth of knowledge and recommends a few places to see and even sets us up to meet some other locals to help in our Titan on the Rock tailgate. Well, you're going to get someone to help you experience a fish stew. Okay. All right. That's very traditional in Newfoundland with the outports and the, and the fishermen and that. On top of that, you should probably also consider doing a jigs dinner. Jigs dinner. We've been hearing very, that a lot. Very popular out of Newfoundland something you should really get the chance to, to explore. I thought it most appropriate to give you something that Newfoundlanders, if you drive down to any street, you will not see it without pickup. You guys have got a brand new 2017 Titan. Our newest, it's our greatest. You're gonna love it. I don't want you to baby it. I want you to drive it. I want you to fill it up with stuff, get it full of mud, don't care what you do with it. I want you guys to be happy with it and just take it out and drive it like you stole it. Well, we could definitely do that. Yeah. <laughs> it's decided. Jig's dinner it is for our tailgate. St. John's is the capital of Newfoundland and Labrador, and for the next four days, it'll be our home as we explore the surrounding areas and experience the history and traditions of the rock. So our truck, half ton Titan V8. I think this is a really good general purpose truck. It is. It's, uh, it's your perfect recreational truck. And uh, here in St. John's, we're going to put this to use. Yeah, we're going to drive it around, picking up things that we need for our tailgate. Mm -hmm. And we're even going to put it to work a little bit. You know, look around these, these houses. Oh, they're all different colors. Mm -hmm. We're sitting on Jelly Bean Row. Doesn't get better than that. You know, if you're going to be in St. John's, you might as well enjoy the actual little intricacies and kind of unusual, you know, architecture of the city. After a quick stop to Signal Hill, where the first transatlantic wireless transmission happened, and then to Cape Spear, the easternmost point in North America, we've arrived at Bay Bulls, where we meet a good friend of Rick's, Captain Joe O'Brien of O'Brien's Boat Tours. Before we head out on a quick tour, we help out by moving a few things for Captain Joe including the boat we'll be heading out on. Depending on time of year, tours can see many types of whales, dolphins, icebergs, puffins, and all sorts of other marine life. Being on a tight schedule, we didn't get a chance to get out on a full tour with Captain Joe, but our condensed tour still introduced us to some spectacular sights. Joe is a 12th generation Newfoundlandian, so his knowledge of the area is superb. The scenery is absolutely stunning and really must be witnessed in person. How's this for an authentic maritime treat? Captain Joe's cousin, Con O'Brien, is our chef for a lunchtime tailgate featuring a classic fish stew. Fishermen in this place, we go fishing early in the morning, four o'clock. And they usually did that on a slice of bread and a cup of tea. And after their first big struggle with a big cod trap, they take their fish aboard and on their way to the next trap, they cook a, cook a breakfast. The recipe is over 400 years old and it's really simple. You brown off some fat back pork, cook off some onions for about 10 minutes, and then you layer the potatoes, fresh cod, which was just caught today, and then some soaked hardtack, or as they call it, sea biscuits or Newfoundland tofu. You add water, cover it, and a half hour later this super hearty fish stew is ready to enjoy. 
I'm really surprised at the richness and the depth of this stew considering the few ingredients involved. Just when you think this could be the perfect lunchtime tailgate, we get surprised with an authentic sea shanty by Khan. Oh, you landsmen and you seamen, come listen to my song. It's of a trick, was played on me, it won't delay you long. I came from sea the other day, a fair girl I didn't meet. She kindly asked me to a dance, was up on Peter Street. Oh, no, says I, me fair maid, though I can dance quite well. Tonight I'm bound for Wicklow's town is where my people dwell. You'd better come with me, she said, for the distance is not far. And finding her so friendly, I jumped into her car. Now as the dance was over, straight to the bed did go. We could have stayed here all day, but we're on a mission. We need to make sure that we don't screw up and show Rick that a couple of mainlanders can make a jig's dinner. So we've been in this truck for a couple days now. The one thing that's exceptional is its comfort level. It really is a recreational truck run. Really utilized everything about it. We've, you know, we've towed a boat even, mm -hmm. but uh, as you can see, the back is packed. We got, I got all the camera gear, and we have our stove back there. We got our friend James back there. Wave, James. There he is back there. The roads are not the greatest in Newfoundland. They're a little bumpy. A little bumpy. You know, mm -hmm. downtown uh, St. John's, pretty pitted. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of potholes. Yep. Uh, so it's nice to have a truck, something rugged, to handle that. You know what? There are a lot of titans in Newfoundland. There are. Well, Rick mm -hmm. is the top titan seller. So he's obviously doing something right. He's number two in North America mm -hmm. for titan sales. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there's a lot of titans here. Jig's dinner is fairly easy and there aren't a whole lot of ingredients. We've stopped at Lester's farm where another friend of Rick's, Jim Lester, makes sure we get the freshest of whatever we need for our tailgate. First stop, the potato field. Even though we're getting dirty, I'm really enjoying this real farm to table experience. Next stop, carrots. Yes, these taste even better than what they look like here. Couple of other things left turnips, which are optional, and the last is cabbage. Look at the size of some of these. You could probably make football-sized cabbage rolls with a single leaf. Of course, I had to find the biggest one. Since we had our truck out in the field, we helped Jim carry the crate of cabbage back to the barn. So we really put this Titan to work today. Uh, you know, we, we went to Lester's farm, well, you know, it's a good trade-off. You know, we do a little bit of work and we get some produce for free. Uh, oh yeah, this thing got <laughs> real muddy, but we got our produce. Once again, another good reason to have a pickup around this area. There was a few yeah. times we on the floor, four-wheel drive. Yep. It was pretty soft. The Lester family has been farming in this area for 175 years. That's crazy. It is crazy. It seems like it's a big uh, family thing. That's what they do here. They've been around here for generations to generations. It's fun to drive a truck. I like pickup trucks, right? But I've said it before, I don't have a use for it. So it's really cool when you actually have a use for it and, and you do put it to work. It, you use it for what it's intended to be used for. And now we just got to make this jigs dinner. We got everything now. The day of our Titan tailgate has come and of course, Rick has not only supplied our vehicle, but also one of the most scenic locations you could ever think of. Now we just need to cook. First thing you do is you soak your salt meat overnight and then you drain the water. You add water in your pot halfway and you boil. Cut your vegetables if you need to and make sure they're not too small. Optional is something called peas pudding, which consists of yellow split peas in a bag and you boil it right from the start. After about 20 minutes, you place the veggies in the order of which take longer. We did turnips and carrots first, 15 minutes later the potatoes, and then last went the cabbage. Within an hour from start, it was ready to eat. Just like the fish do, so few ingredients, but ever so tasty. So Rick, what do you think? Obviously, it wasn't bad, your plate's empty. Not bad at all. You did a good job, Brian. 
You know, one thing David and I have learned is, well, first of all, we love tailgating. We have a great truck that you supplied us. Sometimes it's not just about the vehicle you use, it's the people you meet. Absolutely. You know, and that really yeah. makes a tailgate and, and the hospitality uh, in Newfoundland has been incredible. Well, I'm glad to hear that. We strive on that in Newfoundland. That's all part of what we are and who we are. Yeah, and sorry for getting your truck really dirty. That's it, all right. It was David. It was David. <laughs> what can I say? Well, at least he didn't have a hand in the cooking. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, I, I think because he got it dirty, we should make him, what, what's that Irish dance? It's like a jig, Oh, isn't a it? jig, yes, yeah. yes, yeah. 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 Yeah, David, do the jig. I'm not sure how it goes. This okay. the, oh, this should be interesting. Okay, yeah. do the jig. That's great, David. That's great. <laughs> Wonderful. Don't, don't cut. Day job. Cut. No, no, that's sure. good. Great. Cut. Wonderful. <laughs> Am I even close? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. As the North Pole is to the South. Well, guys, it's been great to have you. I must say, you've been, uh, you've been a pleasure to work with. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much, Rick. Well, I would, sir, if I could, sir, if I only had the chance. But I met a girl on Peter Street. She asked me to a dance. She danced my heart's deception. I got robbed from head to feet. And I'll take my oath no more. I'll go to a dance on Peter Street. Oh, you landsman and you seaman, a warning take by me. Be sure to choose good company when you go out on spree. Be sure to choose good company or you'll find yourself like me. With a woman's shirt and apron for to fit you out for sea. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up, and if you want to see more everyday reviews, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.